let's first understand what is a problem and what problem api gateway addresses consider in our microservices project we have multiple microservices for example microservice 1 microservice 2 and then microservice 3 and so on okay and each microservice have a host name and port for example let's say microservice 1 is running on port 8080 microservice 2 is running on port 8081 and microservice 3 is running on 8083 and in order to scale our microservices project we can run multiple instances of each microservices right for example let's say if you want to scale microservice 1 then we can start another instance of microservice 1 for example let's say the instance is running on port 8084 and another instance will run on a port 8085 okay and each microservice exposes the rest APIs all right next here we have a client it consumes a rest APIs from multiple microservices for example let's say client consume the rest APIs from microservice 1 microservice 2 and microservice 3 well in order to consume the rest APIs from microservice 1 microservice 2 microservice 3 client have to know the url of all the rest APIs well in enterprise application we may have hundreds and thousands of microservices and it is not a good idea that client have to interact with all those you know microservices isn't it so basically client have to remember all the host and ports of all the microservices that it want to consume so basically client have to remember all the host and ports of all the microservices that it want to consume okay so in order to solve this problem we can use api gateway well api gateway basically sit at the middle of client and backend microservices and whenever a client want to consume the rest apis from multiple microservices then client have to first send a request to the api gateway it don't have to interact with directly to the multiple microservices okay so this is awesome right so client don't have to remember host and ports of all the microservices that it want to consume it just have to send a request to api gateway that's it api gateway take care of routing that request to appropriate microservice okay so this is how the api gateway solves the problem okay client don't have to tightly coupled with multiple microservices client just have to send a request to api gateway api gateway based on the rules or the url rules it will forward that request to appropriate microservice so api gateway we basically use to route the request and second is we can also use api gateway for load balancing for example let's say we want to scale microservice one then we'll start multiple instances of microservice one and then api gateway will take care of routing the request to particular instance okay in this way api gateway also you know capable to handle the load balancing next security consider we are not using api gateway then what will happen each and every microservice have to implement its own security and client have to authenticate with each and every microservice isn't it so this is basically a tds process all right so client have to authenticate with each and every microservice it want to communicate so this is a tds process isn't it so api gateway basically address this problem we just have to you know implement centralized security in a api gateway client just have to authenticate with api gateway that's it client don't have to authenticate with each and every microservice it want to communicate and api gateway will take care of authenticating the client request and if there is an issue then api gateway will send a response back to the client all right so api gateway will address this security cross-cutting concern as well 